What's so hard about phase changes? Famous last words for anyone who hasn't taken AP or Gen Chem yet. Let's talk about AP Topic 6.5 with an FRQ from 2022. In this problem, we're going to calculate the total amount of heat needed to heat up salicylic acid from 25 degrees Celsius to its melting point of 159 degrees. When you're doing these problems, it's not as simple as just finding the total heat associated with part of this. You have to look at the total process. So step one, we are just going to heat up the solid. We will use key equals MC delta T to figure out the heat associated with just that process. So again, we're using Q equals MC delta T to find out the energy associated with heating it from 25 to its melting point of 159 degrees. Now we have to actually look at the phase change. And this is where we're going to use the molar heat of fusion. In this case, we want to change our mass into moles. We divide by the molar mass and then you just multiply by that value. So this is going to give us an answer in kilojoules. We want to make sure that we then change that into joules so everything matches up. And now we want to find the total heat associated with this change. We're just going to add those two values together. So again, first, we found the heat just associated with just heating up the solid. Then we use the heat of fusion to find out the heat associated with that phase change. And this is always the case. No matter how many phase changes you have, you got to add up the total for each step. Hope this was helpful. Leave any questions or suggestions in the comments.